Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're working on this Ranger 700. Uh, this is a 2005 model, I believe. Um, we're gonna be replacing the CD axle on this unit. Um, it has a torn boot and um, it's just old. So we're just gonna go ahead and swap the whole axle out rather than just doing the boot. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a video, show y'all how to do this. Pretty simple on these older machines. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, uh, this wheel. It should be about a, should be a 17 millimeter lug. Of course, jack this up once you don't have an impact and uh, go ahead and break it loose on the ground. Right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some cars. Try to do this all in real time for you. Sorry about any wind noise you hear uh, in the background. A little windy out here today. I usually like using dikes to pull these cotter pins out. Probably the best way to do it. You see, just get in there, pry it. Most of the new axles should come with them anyways. So if you accidentally mess it up, it's not a big deal. There we go. We'll go ahead and get a, a socket for that. This is metric. I believe most of the time it's a 27 millimeter on these. All I have is standard, so that's what I'm gonna roll with. Uh, if you need a standard, this is a 15 16. Go ahead and break that loose. Grab the washer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rotate the wheel. And there's actually going to be two bolts right here that you're going to do. It should be 14 or 15 pins. Oh, I'm sorry. They're actually 13 on this one. I apologize. So there's one here and one right down here. So I'll go ahead and break those loose and uh, take those. I'm going to turn the camera off for a second because I can't get a good camera angle on that. All right. Got the last one here. I'm just using the electric ratchet with an extension. It's just a bolt with a flat washer and lock nut. And your caliper should slide off. You might have to get a pry bar and kind of pry it, but I'll just go ahead and hang this out of the way. If there's a lot of pressure on this line, I usually will just zip tie it to the shock, but we seem like we're all right right now. We'll go ahead and straighten this back out and we'll pull this out of there. Sometimes the uh, it has like a two part bearing Sometimes this bearing inner will come out. Just slide it off. Mine's a little stuck. There we go. Just a little inner bearing. I just slide it right back in there so those bearings don't slide out. So next we'll go ahead and move down to the bottom here. We'll have a cotter pin and it should be a 15 millimeter nut for the, uh, for this control or this lower ball joint. Go ahead and pull that out just like that. And we'll go ahead and get the impact here. Oh, sorry, that's not my 15. Oh, sorry, it's a 17, I apologize. Oh, not gonna fit under there. Let's go ahead and jack it up just a little more. 
All right, so we got that nut off there. Sometimes you can beat on these and get them off, but I just like using this ball joint separator. It's a lot easier, and it doesn't tear up the ball joint. I'll go ahead and put our nut back on there just enough to where the threads stick out. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this wind. I hope the camera's not picking it up too bad, but... and loosen up this nut. There we go, and our control arm swings out of the way just like that. Go ahead and get this brake caliper out of the way. You got time to do your brakes if you need to do brakes as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this, this steering wheel all the way to the left as much as I can. And I'm just gonna pull this out just like that. And once that's out of your way, you're good to pull the axle out. So I'm gonna go ahead, you're gonna try to get it as straight of the line as you can. Just give it some pops just like that. And it should come out. And just like that, your axle's out. And you're ready to reinstall the new one. Let me get the new one out and we'll go ahead and start reinstalling. All right, I got my axle ready. I put just a little bit of grease on there. So it's gonna take a little bit of pressure to get this axle in. Don't be afraid to push on it. You know what? I might take this uh, shield out of the way here. Yeah, I'm gonna take this shield out of the way. I just don't wanna cause any damage, so. Uh, looks like it's just a Torx spit, so let me grab a Torx. Seven hundreds don't have this, but it just depends on what you have. So uh, this is a T twenty on this bit, which is probably probably uh, not quite the correct size, but that's all right. It's working, so. up with the hole. I have to rotate it a little bit to kind of get the splines lined up. And you'll just have to gotta kind of beat it in there. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but Now we'll go ahead and kind of just push the axle. Sorry. We'll just push the axle over 
and insert and make sure you don't not put too much stress on those bearings when you do that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel back straight now. like that and we'll go ahead and raise this uh, control arm up and reattach the uh, bottom that's just that little small 17 mil castle nut and we'll grab our impacts Doesn't have to be crazy tight. Don't want to strip it. And we'll reinsert our cast on that in there. Or not the nut, sorry, the uh, cotter pin. Just like that. I'll give it a bend over just like that. And next we'll go ahead and grab our hub assembly reinsert that I'll probably wait to put that plastic on last they might have to push the axle through a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the hardware I like it. I'm gonna reuse the original castle nut I kind of trust the steel on it more than these aftermarket axles If I can find the hole that's lined up. There we go, that one's lined up there. Let me grab a new cotter pin for it. If you're taking this apart on a used machine, or Maybe putting a used axle on it or something. You can pick these up for like six or eight dollars at Harbor Freight. And it's a whole pack of cotter pins, so definitely recommend that. That one looks good there. I'll roll with that one. That, that, that uh, pack of cotter pins has saved me many, many times. Just like that. And we'll just rotate it, and make sure it rotates nice and smooth, which it does. So next we'll go ahead and turn the wheel and we'll slide our brake caliper back on. You might have to compress the brakes with um, with a C-clamp. Luckily this one was fine. Get it started by hand. And we'll get the next one started as well. Sorry, I know y'all can't see this, but it's nothing crazy. This goes right back in the holes that we took it out of. And we'll put our 13 millimeter back on. And Go ahead, snug it back up. Just like that. And uh, next we'll go ahead and reinstall our plastic cover. I'll aim it up for y'all so y'all can see. So you'll see the little indentions. that one back. A little tight, but it'll go. There we go. Just like that. Go ahead and get a couple of 
screw starter to help us hold it in place. Just like that. doesn't need to be crazy tight, it's just plastic, so be careful with it. We'll go ahead and I'll back y'all up a little bit. We'll go ahead and grab our tire. And we'll reinstall that. Grab our lug nuts. crazy tight because this is a half inch impact so uh, just like that we are done with the install so if y'all have any questions just drop them down below but uh, for now that'll be it thanks for watching <laughs>